Tetra, the fearless pirate leader who turns out to be more than only a pirate. She is seen in a couple of Zelda games and plays a big role in The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass. But what is her story? Where did it all start and where will it end? Well, stick around to find out! Tetra is a tan, blonde pirate girl and successor to her mother's gang of pirates. A fearless and even merciless pirate, she seems at first glance cold and to care only about herself and treasure, but in reality she's quite kind and caring for others. Despite being younger than her crew members, Tetra is still respected among them. She is often recognized by her signature pose, crossing her arms and winking. When Link first meets Tetra in The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, she's being kidnapped by the Helmrock King. The monster bird's distracted by Tetra's crew, and she's dropped into the fairy woods. Link comes to rescue her, but because of this distraction, her sister Ariel, mistaken for Tetra, is kidnapped instead. After much persuasion, Tetra allows Link to accompany her and her crew in their ship, to save his sister from the Forsaken Fortress. At first, Tetra does not take a liking to Link, mocking him and showing distrust towards him, due to his tendency to act without thinking things through. After finally reaching the Forsaken Fortress, Tetra and her pirates launch Link into the fortress by catapulting him in a barrel. Before she launches him off, however, she slips the pirate's charm in his pocket, which Tetra uses to communicate with the young hero and drop hints occasionally. Link, however, ultimately fails to rescue his sister and Tetra and him go their separate ways. The pirate leader and the young hero meet again briefly in Windfall Island, when they are both trying to reach Jaboon's hidden cave behind Outset Island. When Gonzo suggests that they stay at Windfall for the night, Tetra quickly dismisses that option, saying that they have to set sail to Outset immediately. However, Tetra soon after catches Link spying on the pirates in the bomb shop and decides to give Link a head start to reach Jaboon. Tetra catches up with Link in the Forsaken Fortress again as he tries to save his sister. The young pirate, upon meeting with Link, claims that Link never thinks before he acts since her crew had to distract the Helmarok King for him before the bird would capture him again. She is shocked to see that he has the Master Sword in his possession and even thinks that Link might be the hero of time or a descendant of him. However, she quickly shrugs off the thought, seeing that it would be impossible. She promises Link that she will take Ariel and take her back to Outset safely, mentioning that she usually expects a reward for something like that, but offers to do it for free. Later on, after defeating the Helmarok King when Link is nearing defeat at the hand of Ganondorf, Tetra runs in the room to distract him, however, she is easily defeated as well. While in Ganondorf's grasp, his Triforce of Power resonates, leading him to believe that he finally found Princess Zelda. Tetra denies this, claiming that she doesn't know anyone named Zelda. After another distraction by Dorito and the Great Falu, Link and the unconscious Tetra get away safely from Ganondorf and head to the sunken Hyrule Castle where they meet the King. The King asks Tetra to approach him and takes her necklace. The necklace, which was given by her mother and instructed Tetra to guard it with her life, is actually a piece of the Triforce of Wisdom. The King of Hyrule uses the other piece of the Triforce of Wisdom to reveal Tetra's true identity, Princess Zelda. Tetra is in shock and apologizes to Link for everything that has happened to him and his sister. The King then tells the Princess that she would be safer hiding in the castle's basement from Ganondorf's grasp, while he and Link return to the service to search for the Triforce of Courage. When Link returns to Hyrule Castle with the Triforce of Courage in his possession, he sees that Zelda was captured by Ganondorf and taken to Ganon's tower and the young hero quickly seeks to save her. Once Link defeats Puppet Ganon and climbs up to where Ganondorf and Princess Zelda are located, he finds Zelda knocked unconscious. And although the young hero tries to best Ganondorf, he swiftly takes Link's and Zelda's Triforce pieces. Zelda wakes up and apologizes to Link for having overslept where she urges Link to defeat Ganondorf once and for all and to return to their ocean world above. During Link's battle with Ganondorf, Zelda wields the young hero's bow and light arrows to cover Link and allow him to attack as best as he can. During the battle, however, Ganondorf hovers over to Zelda and knocks her unconscious again, but after a while, she wakes up again. She aims a light arrow at the young hero's mirror shield, which bounces off to Ganondorf and allows Link to deal the final blow. After Link and Zelda resurface to the Great Sea, Tetra appears again in her pirate clothing, having lost her royal persona as her pirate crew greets the two of them aboard their ship. Tetra is last seen during the ending credits where she, her pirate crew and Link set sail from Outset Island in search of new lands. 
After this she fell out of the picture for a bit, but not for long since she does return. The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Early on in the game Tetra boards the mystical ghost ship, but suddenly the ghost ship disappears with her still on board. Eventually Link manages to find the ghost ship, however he finds that she has been turned to stone by a monster named Balam. When Link eventually manages to restore her, she is kidnapped by Balam, who keeps her in the ghost ship. Link chases after the ghost ship and eventually manages to defeat Balam. After peace has been restored, Link and Tetra wake up on the ghost ship, having realized that they left the world of the Ocean King and find the other pirates. After this, her legend lives on and we can see this in The Legend of Zelda The Spirit Tracks. While Tetra does not make a physical appearance in The Legends of Zelda Spirit Tracks, a stained glass window depicting her can be seen in Hyrule Castle's throne room. The Locomo Sage engine also speaks of an ancestor of Zelda, a pirate that established the Kingdom of New Hyrule. Engine and Zelda's ancestor became friends shortly after the pirate's arrival. Engine entrusted her with the Spirit Flute, under the condition that her people protected the land for all time. And so we reach the end of the adult era, the timeline where Hyrule was flooded, and Tetra goes down in history. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to check out my channel because I have a lot more Zelda videos waiting for you.